hustlers, entrepreneurs, go-getters. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how I went from 6K a month profit flipping couches to finally breaking through last month in July and having a 12K month. So doubling my income, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the steps I took because there was things I learned that I applied that allowed that to happen. So I'm super excited for this video because if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm nothing special. I just want to share this with you guys because this is something I wish I heard after five months of being plateaued at 6K a month. Whether you're just getting started or you haven't even started yet, you'll be able to learn some things. And for the people that are stuck at 6K like I was trying to break through and get to 8K and beyond, I got something for you too. And for the person that's doing more than 12K a month, let me come learn from you. But I might have something for you as well. These are things that I found that have worked for me. They might work for you. So the best way I know how to explain this and what happened, how I had that breakthrough that we all want is first describing what is the couch flipping process? And I broke it down into simple four steps. So I'm going to give you a little presentation. Keep it simple. I don't want to overload you guys like it's back in math class where you would fall asleep. I'm about to give it to you. Just simple. Simplicity is key. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into those four steps of couch flipping. I'll go through them all just so you know what they are. Then I'll come back around and go into detail on each one just to share what I improved on and which ones I just upgraded. Just wanted to say, everybody has a different style. We do things differently, but these four steps are pretty universal. Maybe the details of how they do is a little different, but let's get into it. Step one is finding the deal. And you can find the deals on OfferUp, Facebook, Craigslist. That's where I find majority of my deals. People say that the neighborhood app is pretty good on finding deals sometimes. But first step is finding and locating the deal. That's like probably the most important is making sure you can spot something, know that you can make money on it and go pick it up, bring it back to inventory. So that's step one. So step two is preparation. That's where you prepare the couch. You either clean it, shave it, vacuum it, do what you gotta do to make it presentable and ready for the market. Everybody has a different style of how they clean a couch and whatnot, but step two is basically preparing the couch to be listed. And then step three is listing the couch. That's when you take photos of it, get it staged, and you add a good juicy description, and you have a nice catchy title. That's what goes into step three is the listing, the post itself. And then last, the final step is finding a buyer, is posting it, and finding a buyer and executing closing the deal and dropping it off delivering it and that's probably the easiest step let's go through them now and i'll kind of elaborate on which one i improved on just so you have an idea of the steps i made to really break through well, let's get into step one and that's finding the deal in my first year i had the mentality after watching ryan panetta's video i heard him mention that he just would aim to make at least 200 bucks per couch profit so naturally i would just look for deals around that general profit margin now what i have done is bump up that standard to where i'm looking for 300 at least or 400 dollar profit margins and guess what happens this is a this is a secret these deals these 400 dollar profit margin deals have become as easy as finding the 200 dollar profit deals you're spending the same amount of time looking for the deals, spend same time of effort cleaning and, and working on it, except this one makes 400 and this one makes 200. So just remember, your mind will attract to you what you're looking for. So if you're looking for negative all day, you're gonna get negative. If you're looking for positive, you'll probably get that. So same with deals. To make that shift, you have to really dig in and, and look at your beliefs of why do you not believe you can have $500 margins and start to pluck those out slowly but surely? Um, because this last like 45 days, my margins have been crazy. Like last month, my margins were like 450 per couch, um, which is solid. When all of my first year flipping couches, my margin, average margin per couch was about 246. So that's almost double just by changing my mentality so it works. Other things to look for when searching for a couch is always try to get good condition couch couches. The better quality it is, the more likely and easier it will be to sell. 
The couches that sell the fastest are gray always. Just try to stay away from funky patterns and whatnot, but those are more details that are not as important as your mind shift. Also, let me add something. With those deals that were like $500 margins and above, I developed something that's a virtue. It's called patience. And with your big boys, your good couches that you know have value, be willing to sit on them and wait for the perfect buyer so that you can get top pricing. That's all I can add for finding the deals. Those things have helped me dramatically make that breakthrough. And I hope that helps. Step two is preparation of the couch. And honestly, on this step, I've just been making small improvements just to make sure my cleaning game is better and more effective. And I'll show some of the tools I've been using to step up my game. But really when it comes to cleaning a couch, that's probably the thing I do the most in the process of preparation. And what I have found that helped me really improve in that area is one, I have a 6.5 HP shop vac, but that really soaks up a lot of water. And the way that I spray down my couches is I use a weed sprayer this is two gallons so i can put a lot of water in here and then i put some solution in here everybody uses different solutions so don't really worry about that i use some of this basically buy it from my girlfriend's mom and uh it's pretty good product it works for me it's just multi-purpose cleaner i use that but you can really use any type of cleaning solution but for the tough stains i use this carpet cleaner right here it's called la awesome and this thing works incredibly well I just spray the stains, the deep stains or spots with that product. And then I just use my drill brush to really scrub it all out. Some other tools that I've used for like pet hair instead of my vacuum is I got this right here. It's, a, it's just a dog hair brush. Got recommended from the resale mafia. Some people on there said this thing works wonders. And it does, man. It can get like all pet hair off. And then I got this right here. It's just another tool you can use for pet hair it's got like rubber on it and these are some things that have helped me really master the cleaning process i'll make some more videos on how i clean couches but overall another thing that's helped me is before i would spray one section and then clean it spray another section then clean it spray another section then clean it but now i just spray the whole couch drill brush the spots that need to be cleaned spray some of that a lot awesome in the spots that need it and drill brush those spots and then i just use my shot vac to soak up all the water all at once so i save time rather than like switching in between tools and doing one section at a time because that just gets way too time consuming so that's where i approve improved on on my preparation process let's get into the next step so step three is the second most important step that i have taken to really improve and make more profits and have that big breakthrough. And that is the listing. What goes into the listing is the description and your photos of the couches. So for example, let me show you this couch I got set out right here. See with this couch, I could have easily just set it out here with no carpet, no little coffee table with a nice fake plant, no throw pillows and just left it out here and it would look good. But what separates you is adding the carpet adding the little details the coffee modern coffee table with some little trinkets on top of it and adding the throw pillows spread kindness and making people feel like wow this is a couch i want in my home so staging with your couches is super super important and just having this makes you want to post your couch for more because it adds value to your couch like this couch just looks 10 times better with all this extra stuff making it look more valuable to the customer. So once your couch is staged, the second most important part is getting some good quality photos. And I'll put some of the photos up here that I took of this couch, just so you can see the angles that I hit. And then the up close photos, and then the far away photos, the right side angle, the left side angle. And when you do that, you really give the customer a viewing of the couch from their home which allows them to have confidence in buying from you. Once you got your couch staged and you got all the photos capturing its beauty, then you go to the description. And the best advice I have for descriptions is make it organized, concise, and easy to read and really highlight 
the things that people want to know about the couch. So first and foremost, they want to know about the condition of the couch. And then to add more value, maybe you can put the retail price of the couch on there, how much it costs brand new. You can put the features like on this one, I would put that it has a matching tuft ottoman with the beautiful studded frame. And I would just add that it's clean from a pet free home, no stains, no rips. If you add all of that and you make it organized, I'll put some examples right here of what I mean by organized, like add some bullets or add some emojis. You can really make it clear and easy to read for the customer and then they will want to buy from you and it'll be easy to see the condition of the couch. Your photos will give them a clear picture of what it looks like. And then yeah, voila, you feel confident in your couch with what you're posting. Just with taking these steps of better photos, staging my couches and having a clear, concise, easy to read description, I've been able to attract more buyers, been able to raise my prices, been able to sell couches for more, all the benefits, all the fruits come from just those simple three steps. So hopefully that helps. I know there's people with way better staging game than me, so I'm not even trying to flex, but I have come a long way. If you would see some of my pictures before, like I'll give you some examples, not what not to do from my old posts. Like, look at this. This is hurt. This is, this is booty cheeks right here. Look at this. This is not what you want to do. With that being said, let's get into the last step. And this one really hasn't changed too much because we are fortunate to be able to post on these platforms that already attract a lot of eyeballs and bring us a lot of potential clientele. So as long as we do our part, the things we can control of putting our couch on the market and making sure our listing is on point, making sure we get good deals, couches that people want, then the last step is really easy because people are gonna message you about your couch and be interested. The last step is pretty much the easiest, but it's the most rewarding because that's when you get your money in your hand and you can be proud of yourself for doing the first three steps. So with that being said, I hope that helped. And this was a video I wanted to make. Like I said, I'm no guru. There's people doing a lot more than me, but I'm hoping some of this can help you out and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But I'll see you guys on the trail. You guys have a wonderful week. Love you guys. Let's get it. Bye-bye.